Hello everyone, welcome back on this beautiful Wednesday evening. This is Good Evening KU, I'm Adam Brassel. And I'm Hannah Halverson. And speaking of not so beautiful weather, yeah. that's what's happening to our friends on the East Coast right now with Hurricane Florence yes. coming in. Correct, I actually know someone who graduated last year and they are coming back this weekend because they had to evacuate from, I think it was South Carolina, mm. one of the Carolinas. Oh yeah, and it so. seems like day by day, this is just progressing mm -hmm. worse and worse. Yeah. Is last time I checked, it was a category three hurricane, but yep. who knows if it'll be worse. Mm -hmm. So sad, that's yeah. very crazy. Oh, exactly, but yeah. at least Airbnb, I heard, is giving out free accommodations to everyone fleeing. Um, I think three million people are gonna be without power, so it's yeah. gonna be a pretty bad storm that they're expecting. That's crazy, so like Airbnb, like will, wherever they like evacuate to, mm -hmm. will give them like free room. Yeah, or, no, that's like, what's super nice, yeah, that's, exactly. That's awesome. And I saw New York Times actually labeling this as like a Mike Tyson punch kind of hurricane, oh, so it's gonna be a bad one for mm -hmm. sure. They're expecting a lot of people without power, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, exactly, yeah, three million. Three million, that's mm -hmm. what you're saying. It's gonna that's be crazy. absolutely, it reminds me too, last uh, summer actually, mm -hmm. I went on a family vacation, and I was caught in Tropical Storm Cindy during oh the whole gosh. entire week. So I can only imagine, you know, just but, during a tropical storm, yeah. it was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. But during a hurricane, hurricane, it can only be so much worse. Yeah. I would hate to experience that kind of stuff. Same. I feel horrible for everyone that lives there. Oh, but yeah. I'm glad a lot of people are already evacuated and mm -hmm. they're prepared. Right, so yeah. That's good. And the nice thing, too, is KU was actually supposed to go to, uh, I believe it was either North or South, one of the two Carolinas. Carolinas. But um, they're actually, they were going to be in a tournament, and mm -hmm. they moved that. And then so. out in Lawrence, right? Yes, exactly. So that's good for everyone at KU and right. everyone that loves KU volleyball, because now we can all go mm -hmm. see exactly. the games. I yeah. think it's Friday and Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, I believe yeah. um, Friday at 5 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. I might mm -hmm. have to check on that. Yes. But I, I know <laughs> that they are going to be two home games uh, from the tournament that was supposed to be this weekend, actually. Yes. But yeah. That's awesome. That's good for us. And also this weekend is KU football mm -hmm. home game. Oh, yes. So that's exciting because last weekend we beat Central Michigan. Mm -hmm. Coming off so. a big win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think everyone's really excited for the game this weekend. Mm -hmm. Especially coming off a 46 game losing streak on the yeah. road, uh -huh. which was absolutely insane. insane. I cannot believe that it uh -huh. lasted that long. But mm -hmm. hey, things are meant to be broken. Mm -hmm. You know, it's glad that we could finally snap that streak, get I over agree. that hump, yes. and uh, come back on home with a little bit of momentum in that yes. going into this game. And isn't family weekend this it weekend? It absolutely is going to be yes. family weekend. Is your family coming this weekend? Yes, they are. Uh, my mom and my dad are actually coming in town. Um, we're going to tailgate before the game on Saturday. Um, it's going to be nice coming in, because whenever family mm -hmm. comes in, that means free meals for me oh, yeah. on the weekend. Mm -hmm. So that's always going to be a good time um, yes. seeing them because I haven't seen them since uh, last summer or this past summer I should say okay. actually so mm -hmm. it'll be nice to see them once again that's exciting are, are you gonna be doing anything for um, sadly my family's not coming in oh, but I am a lot of my friends family is gonna be here so I'm just gonna act like an adopted child for uh, the weekend and kind oh, absolutely. Of add myself into some family kind of tag along yeah and all that. no that'll be that'll be awesome mm -hmm. and it'll be a beautiful weekend too weather wise here uh, yeah. so that'll be really nice it'll be nice it'll be good for every everyone in their family to tailgate and mm -hmm. enjoy oh, absolutely. Lawrence for the weekend. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, for sure, because mm -hmm. I know last weekend was bad with rain, just all yeah. that entire stuff, mm -hmm. especially walking to class. It was Oh, horrible. I wore, I wore my white gym shoes, I remember, and no. I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so. mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. I, I can't even imagine just like every single day just rain and all that so yeah. it was nice to get a break this week exactly well at least the weather is getting better and KU is going to be playing this weekend so rock chalk and uh, we'll be back where you go to college makes a statement about you this place will become a part of you your identity for life The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back, I'm Fabian. And I'm Caroline. This is your Wednesday Good Evening KU News Update. The National Hurricane Center has upgraded Tropical Storm Florence to an official Category 4 hurricane as it prepares to 
hit the East Coast tomorrow. With winds up to 130 miles per hour, Florence is expected to hit the Carolinas sometime Thursday night and may be upgraded to a Category 5. Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina are already on alert and 1.5 million people are preparing to be evacuated. KU police discovered a dead body yesterday morning on West Campus. According to the University Daily Kansan, officers discovered the body of a 21-year-old male at 11.30 a.m. near Pioneer Cemetery, which is just south of the Leeds Center. According to the KU Public Safety Office, the man was identified as a Lawrence resident but not a KU student. Lawrence police are still searching for a man who reportedly shot at another person early Sunday morning near 10th in Arkansas. According to the Lawrence Journal World, the suspect is described as a 20 to 30 year old heavy set bald black male shorter than 5 foot 10 inches tall. The suspect also speaks with an accent. If you have any information, please contact the Lawrence Police Department. A KU bus caught on fire Tuesday afternoon in front of Green Hall. The driver stopped the bus after seeing flames coming from the rear. Passengers evacuated the bus, and the driver was able to extinguish the, flame, the fire himself. Apple is set to debut three new iPhones today, including the biggest and most expensive model yet. Names for the new devices are not yet known, but the even bigger iPhone would follow the lead of last year's iPhone X, which got rid of the home button to make room for more screen. The iPhone X began selling at more than $1,000 per device. If you think of a run to McDonald's for lunch, you better think again. Next Tuesday, workers at McDonald's have organized a strike next week to force management to take stronger steps against the on-job sexual harassment. The walkout is set to begin at lunchtime on September 18th, and is thought to be the first multi-state strike to specifically target sexual harassment. That will wrap it up for this news update. After a quick break, Ryan and Malcolm will be here with a sports update. For students searching for a way to stay active in an outdoorsy way, the City of Lawrence has bike trails running in every direction and with the new Bike Share program, we can stay in shape as we tour the sites of our beautiful city. Clinton Lake is only a short 30 minute bike ride away from Daisy Hill and has the most incredible sunset location in all of Lawrence. Walking campus may give you the KU calves, but biking can give you the KU thighs. Bike Lawrence today. Welcome back to your Good Evening KU Sports Update. I'm Malcolm. And I'm Ryan. With Hurricane Florence set to hit the East Coast this weekend, KU Volleyball's trip to North Carolina has been canceled. The Jayhawks have been scheduled to play three matches in a tournament at High Point. Now UNC Greensboro will come to Lawrence and play two matches in Horsch Family Athletic Center. Friday's match will begin at 5 p.m. and Saturday's match at 6. The KU soccer team finished a two-game road trip last weekend without a win or a loss. On Friday, the Jayhawks battled to a nil-nil draw with Cincinnati. Then Saturday's match with Pittsburgh was canceled after heavy rains flooded the pitch. KU is now 5-0-2 and will host St. Louis on Friday night in Rock Chalk Park. The football team will look to make it two in a row on Saturday against Rutgers. Freshman running back Puka Williams will make his Memorial Stadium debut after scoring two touchdowns last week to lead the Jayhawks to a 31-7 win over Central Michigan. Kickoff on Saturday is at 11 a.m. KU Athletics will induct former quarterback Todd Reising into Ring of Honor during Saturday's game against Rutgers. Reising played at KU from 2006 to 2009 and still holds 14 school records. In 2007, Reising led the Jayhawks to a 12-1 record, including Orange Bowl victory over Virginia Tech. The play that Todd Reising is most famous for, however, is the touchdown pass to Kerry Meyer that beat Mizzou. Let's take a look back to November 29, 2008. What a classic here today in the border showdown. It comes down to a fourth down play for the Kansas Jayhawks, who led much of the day. But in the fourth quarter, it has been back and forth, and Missouri clinging to a now 37-33 lead. Fourth and seven at the 26. You can't ask for more than we've seen today in a college football game. It has been unbelievable. KU out of timeouts. Three receivers wide right. Briscoe to the left. Sharp in the backfield with Todd Reesing. Reesing in trouble here. Looking. Got him. Meyer. Oh, touchdown. Oh, Kansas. Oh, oh man. Unreal. And Mark Mangino saying, keep your composure, get off the sideline. That was all Todd Reesing. 
And in the pros, week two of NFL season sees Kansas City again on the road as the Chiefs will travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Denver and Kansas City both won their openers while division foes Oakland and the LA Chargers suffered defeats. Kickoff is at noon on Sunday. Jaden Faith will be here with this week's weather forecast. Please keep watching. <laughs> Welcome back to Good Evening KU. I'm Jade Stemsmeyer with your weather forecast for this evening, but first we're going to go outside to Faith. Faith, how is the weather looking right now? Uh, hi, Jade. I'm outside Strong Hall right now on Jayhawk Boulevard. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It's not too warm and not too cold. There's a light breeze that makes it really comfortable. There's people walking outside. Saw a couple of people on bikes, a couple people running, so it's, it's a really nice day. Awesome. Yeah, it looks so beautiful out there. So what's everyone wearing? Like warm clothes, I'm assuming? Um, most people are wearing like shorts and leggings. Most people are in t-shirts. I'm in a jacket and it's really hot. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, but everyone else looks comfortable. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Faith. We're going to bring it back inside right now. Um, okay. So for... <laughs> So current weather for today, um, 82 degrees, super sunny, just like Faith was saying. Um, beautiful, beautiful weather with some winds from the southeast at 12 miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze, but definitely no chance of rain today. And then so for this evening, it's going to stay pretty clear, actually, um, with some temperatures in the 70s. So super, super nice evening as well. For tomorrow, it's going to be pretty much just like today, a little bit warmer with some clouds in the sky and some strong winds from the south at 14 miles per hour and a small chance of rain. And then for the hurricane that everyone's been talking about, so this hurricane that's going to hit the east coast, as you can see, it's headed towards there right now. And it's only a category three hurricane right now, but it's a category five for flooding. So just like Hurricane Harvey, what's going to happen is it's going to move super slow over the coast. And so when it hits Saturday morning um, on the coast, it's going to just sit on top of the land and rain and cause a ton of flooding, which is obviously not good. So if you have any family or friends that live out there, tell them to evacuate immediately because the storm is not going to be pretty. Um, but better news, um, this week is going to be super, super nice and sunny, just like today. So as you can see, Friday through Monday, the entire weekend, it's going to be super sunny and warm, perfect for the game day. And then for Wednesday, there's a chance of some thunderstorms, but still super warm weather throughout the entire week and mostly just a sunny week. So thank you so much for watching. That's all we have for you today, but we will see you next week. Thank you.